From drug habits to anti-Semitic rage, today's video is about celebrities that fell from grace, whether they destroyed something great or were doomed from the start. Starting with Macaulay Culkin. Generally, I do think that children have a place in showbiz. Kids are kids though, and they need special care and attention from their parents as well as from the adults in the room. But for a long time, child actors didn't receive that care and attention, and Macaulay Culkin's just one tragic example. Earning a starring role in the Home Alone series, Culkin's career in acting was off to a brilliant start. It didn't last that long though, and it was publicly reported that Macaulay didn't have a taste for acting. Man, I'm in good shape. He eventually slowed his career down, taking a few major roles after Home Alone. Everyone later learned that the kid was going through a lot in his personal life. Macaulay's dad was violent and abusive, and tensions between him and his parents dogged him throughout his life. There was, infamously, a battle for control of Macaulay's trust fund. Normally, such funds are controlled by the child's parents, which is how things should be. In Mac's case, though, letting his parents control a fund of about 15 to to $20 million was a bad idea. His career really tanked in the mid-2000s. As it turned out, he was gripped by drug addiction. He seems to be doing a lot better now, as he had a role in American Horror Story. With that, everyone got a sad glimpse of the actor Culkin could have been. For an actor of his skill, Culkin's filmography wound up being pretty short, all things considered. The same can't be said for Lindsay Lohan, who was an iconic actress of the 2000s. The Parent Trap, Freaky Friday, Freaking Mean Girls? I can bet that for a massive chunk of people watching this video, those are childhood defining movies. Anna, hurry up! What? I'm ready. And that wasn't even all. Lohan was a pretty busy actress, and she even recorded music at the height of her fame. Things started to take a turn for the worse in the mid-2000s as Lohan branched out to more adult roles. She was hospitalized for overheating and dehydration while filming Georgia Rule in 2006. Reports from set accused her of being irresponsible and unprofessional, with her often coming in late or missing shooting days. It turns out that she was spending all day partying with lots of drugs and booze at her disposal. By 2007, a combination of a streak of poorly reviewed movies and an increase in partying led that to become Lohan's thing. She realized she was more famous for being a party fiend than an actress, which made her lean into it. Lindsay did eventually recover from this tailspin, and it looks like she's in a much better place now. But see, you don't have to be a child star to throw your career away. Just ask Mel Gibson. When Mel went on his in infamous anti-Semitic rant, he was 50 years old. He may have chalked the rant up to drunkenness, but let's be real, he has probably always been an anti-Semite. It's not some kind of chronological telling of just that event. Mm -hmm. That could be boring and you think, well, we read that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'd be boring. I mean, no, God be. becomes man. And Back in those days, you could get away with being a douchebag in private, as long as you never let the public find out. Mel Gibson was a prime example of precisely that. His sterling acting career included the Lethal Weapon movies, Braveheart, and a voice role in Pocahontas. Here, let me help you out of there. Madakwe Naturat. You don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? He even got behind the camera to direct movies, like the aforementioned Braveheart, Apocalypto, and ironically, The Passion of the Christ. And then in 2006, he was pulled over for driving under the influence, and you know the rest. Now, I've never wanted to say the following string of words, but in Mel's defense, he was probably struggling with alcoholism and an impending divorce. But Hollywood had little mercy for him at the time. Can you get fired for from a town? If you can, then that's what happened to Mel, as his career basically went on hold for a couple of years. He's back in the saddle now, but some will never forget. Okay, this has been getting pretty dark. Christian Bale should make for a more light-hearted entry. Here's the thing, Bale is one of the greatest actors ever. Bale has been knocking movies out of the park since day one, but he really caught the world's attention as Batman. And in 2008, Bale happened to be the lead of The Dark Knight, an instant modern classic. If I get him to you, can you get him to talk? I'll get him to sing. 
But it was during the shooting of his next movie, Terminator Salvation, that the guy nearly lost it all. It was during the shooting of a scene that the movie's cinematographer, Shane Hurlbut, made the mistake of stepping into the shot. Now, don't get me wrong, what Shane did was wrong, but Bale isn't too innocent either. While there was humor to be found in Bale's rant, it was also super unprofessional. Good thing he took accountability in Hollywood at that. He apologized for his behavior and acknowledged it was wrong. That's how everyone knew that Bale isn't a terrible person, and that's why he's still acting. It's a pretty good example of how to handle a meltdown. And Reese Witherspoon is another one. Unlike the previous entries on the list, there's no big story behind Reese's 2013 scandal. She was just having a big night in the city with her husband, Jim Todd. Uh, nothing wrong with that, right? Well, driving under the influence is a big no-no. And as Reese found out, the law is the same for everyone. The couple was pulled over, and Reese went off on the arresting officer. She insisted that, as a U.S. citizen, she had a right to stand on her own ground. Sure thing, Reese. Also, for some reason, she thought that lying about being pregnant would make things better for her. This is in spite of the fact that being drunk while pregnant is actually worse. I have a question to ask you, and, he, and I said, I also need to use the restroom because I'm pregnant. And he said, no, you are not allowed to do that. To her credit, when she appeared on Good Morning America a week later, she confessed that there had been one too many glasses of wine. It's one of those nights, you know, we went out to dinner in Atlanta and we had one too many glasses of wine. We thought we were fine to drive and we absolutely were not. She also admitted that driving under the influence was wrong on her part. I am so sorry. I was so disrespectful to him and I have police officers in my family. I work with police officers every day. I know better. That instinct to take accountability but not make an apology video out of it helped Reese recover from what this did to her image. And I hope you had fun with that because I'm diving right into the heart of darkness with the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Jackson's story is one of the most unrelenting tragedies, but only part of it was balanced by success. He and his siblings were beaten and abused into becoming the Jackson 5, a super successful act whose songs are being bumped to this day. As time went on though, Jackson emerged as a megastar in his own right, but the bigger his spot like got, the more his eccentricities came to light. I guess it shouldn't have been a surprise that someone with Jackson's childhood would be a bit of a weirdo. Unfortunately for him, pop and celebrity culture have less patience for weirdos back then. He was, in a sense, brought down by Neverland Ranch. The world really wasn't ready for its king of pop to live in a massive amusement park complex. And it wasn't ready for Jackson to regularly invite children to stay at the ranch with him. The last years of Jackson's life were marred by allegations of against children. None were ever proven. Jackson's success in the 80s and 90s has come to define his legacy, but so have the accusations. Now, I'd say this is the worst example of a career going off the rails. From drug abuse to Neverland on Earth, those were some of the craziest stories of celebrities going off the rails. See ya!